For some Wisconsin residents, taking part in the hunt isn't always a possibility due to their mobility. But one organization is helping those with handicaps get out into the woods this year, and News 3's Leah Linshine joins us to explain. Yeah, Danica, more than 300,000 people in Wisconsin have mobility issues, and they can't easily maneuver through a rough terrain you would expect to encounter during a hunt. But Access Ability Wisconsin is offering a solution to help get all hunters moving this season. Monica Kamal is an avid hunter, good with her hands and quick with a gun. Load it. Safety on. But taking part in the season hasn't been easy after a skiing accident 14 years ago left Monica without motion. My skis hit the slope, the side of the slope. It drug me down. I hit a tree, broke my back, and paralyzed myself. In a regular wheelchair or if I had a cane or a walker, being able to um, go around and train like this is um, very difficult. But this weekend, she's got a new piece of hardware that's changing that. The organization Access Ability Wisconsin unveiled its first all-terrain wheelchair this month. The wheelchair offers thicker tires and quicker mobility, along with a host of other features that give Monica independence in the hunt again. They didn't have to push me over rocks or worry about my balance or if I'm falling out. I could do it just like I was a walking person again. The freedom and the being together again, not being dependent on someone were very important. Limited to a regular wheelchair in past hunts, Monica has never harvested a whitetail. This year, she's hoping to change that. The other thing is, is because I can turn myself while I'm in the blind, um, I have the range of motion to be able to harvest the white tail. The opportunity has been a long time coming for Monica, but her focus today is on one thing, the hunt. It's been a long road, but the main thing is you have today and what are you going to do to make others happy and yourself happy for today? Now we talked to Monica this afternoon after her hunt and she wasn't able to bring any deer in. In fact, she actually didn't even see any oh, just no. raccoons out there this oh. afternoon. But um, she has a week to go and she says yep. she's going to go. And luckily, thanks to this wheelchair, she yeah. has the opportunity. You might as well make good use of that. That's exactly. an amazing piece of equipment. It was very cool to see. Yeah. Thanks for bringing us that story tonight, Leah. Thank you so much.